everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. It's been a while since I have filmed a vlog so I thought, you know, I need to pick up my camera and just get in the groove of this, take you guys along with me a little bit more. So I just finished getting ready now. I'm wearing this long beautiful floral maxi dress I got from the Matalan sale and this one was actually in the petite because they have a petite range. I don't know if you're aware of that and I thought let me just try it out because they had it in regular sizes and they were all sold out and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get it, hopefully it fits. And it does fit but it's a little bit short on the sleeves, like it comes up to there so I'm probably not going to be getting the petite you know, range again, I'll probably just stick to my regular size 8. But basically this is my outfit, this is how the dress looks and then these trainers are also from the Matalan sale. They've got like a little gold bit at the back as well. It is boiling. It's always the case, isn't it? It's either raining and freezing and like we've got some storms going on or it's just like a heat wave. So yeah, we had all the storms going on and now we've got the heat wave. I just want nice mild weather. I can't really stand humid weather. So I'm going to be going to visit my mum and it's really nice now that all of this COVID stuff has lifted. I think everyone's just really trying to live life now because like YouTube has got has just been hit because obviously everyone's going out so less people are just watching videos now so yeah it's just nice to catch up with family as well you know and be able to go like to their houses without feeling you know that you can get caught or you're going to get in trouble or anything like that because it's all illegal now so we are catching up with my elder brother and his two kids and we're gonna have a barbecue i'm actually not too keen on barbecues i don't know like I don't know, it's, it's not something I, I bother with much, but it's just, you know, the family environment that I'm going for, really, and I just can't wait, so I'll um, take you guys along with me and carry on vlogging throughout the day. By the way, I had some really nice shoes that go with this, like the exact colour, but it was pointy, like, you know, the pointy, what do you call them, the front of the shoe, basically, it was pointy, and I had, like, this much heel, but you know what, guys, just couldn't do it. I'm one of those that, you know, like, comfortable, comfortable is a priority for me. And I feel like this girl is okay. You know, it's kind of, like, casual cute. <laughs> anyway, let's go. By the way, this is a sneak preview. Look at this rug. Really love it. This is part of the makeover that I'm doing. <laughs> I'm trying to film it for you all. This was just £5. Really, really good buy from B&M. Yeah, fish is like five minutes and you're done, man. So fast. What do you reckon? Ten minutes for this? Fifteen, probably. Maybe twenty. Twenty minutes. So this was actually like the first time I've watched a barbecue. I usually just stay indoors or come at the end when everything is cooked. But this time I decided just to see how it all like how you do it basically I had no idea whatsoever and I've never seen like a big barbecue machine thing like this like usually we use just the small disposable ones that you can get like for a fiver or something but yeah this time we we like cooked everything pretty much like chicken meat and then some burgers it got crazy hot because of the heat like the heat of the day the sun was out and then the barbecue the heat from the fire and then the smoke started getting into my eyes so I went indoors and we started making like this, what do you call it, like chicken on a skewer, <laughs> yeah. So we started chopping onions and tomato. We had to space out the chickens on the skewers because they were too tightly packed together and they wouldn't cook properly. And then we also put like sauces onto these Baroche burger rolls. My mum isn't too keen on the sweetness that the Baroche gives, but I thought it kind of worked to be honest and it tasted really nice at the end. So then my brother dished up and we all had a portion each of everything like of meat and chicken and the burger and we just ate outside and chatted in the sun and then we went inside and we started playing Articulate. Honestly these games make me super nervous. Once we finished at my mum's I decided just to go for a stroll, digest all of that meat in this childhood park that I hadn't been to for some time because it's quite busy during like Covid and then lockdown and now this heatwave. It's one of the popular 
parks and I decided you know what it's like dusk almost so the park should be pretty empty by now and it really was so it was quite enjoyable and I went to see and just taking all of the beauty and the flowers there's just so much right now because it's summer and they also plant a lot so it was just really enjoyable but unfortunately there was a lot of rubbish this is just one of those parks that like when the sun comes out it's like rubbish everywhere all across the field and it's just so upsetting really because it doesn't take much just to you know pick up after yourself and take care of the environment I don't really understand why it's such a hard thing to do so unfortunately yeah it, it was not as beautiful as it could have been starting the vlog outside today I actually want to vlog like a Asian road we've got quite a few here as you can see that shop there so yeah, I just had an appointment with the GP and now I'm going to get my breakfast because I haven't eaten from Pepe's. They're number five hygiene, which is great because it's like spot the good hygiene now that all seem to be like one and zero. So yeah, I just can't wait to eat at this point. I was actually coming for Subway, it's right next to it, but I decided I'll just go for Pepe's instead and hopefully we can go to a nice park and eat there, kind of like a picnic. So this is a gift for Eid that I've got for my husband. It's, um, you know, the DNA testing. It's quite expensive, but he's been wanting something like this for some time. So I'm really excited to give it him. And I'm also excited to see the results myself. And then the second gift I got him was this, you know, the Turkish, like, coffee. What, I don't know what you call them. But anyway, yeah. We, we have like these growing up because we're Arab or half Arab but yeah he has an and he really has wanted one this is from Amazon and that and this is a 10 serving one I was debating between getting this or the 6 serving one but I, I read reviews so it was pretty small but now I'm thinking this is pretty big so I kind of wish that I got the smaller one instead and I've got the cats <laughs> Some gifts as well. This here is one of theirs, and it it works so well. If you look like if you've got a cat, try this brand, Yao Catnip. This was ten pounds. I know it's so expensive, but hopefully it's gonna last some time. Also got them like a tunnel, like a three-way tunnel, which I will show you in the garden once I open it up. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Does anyone else's cat eat catnip? This is supposed to make them go berserk and Neil decides to eat it instead. He does enjoy eating catnip sometimes, but I read that if they eat it, it gives them a calming effect. If they smell it, then they can go crazy. <laughs> this is what I'm gifting my mum. And then this is for my niece. There's a few things for Madeline in there. And then this gift bag for my nephew. So I'm wearing another maxi floral dress from the Madeline sale. And the boots are from Select Sale. I think they were like £9. And before I headed out to see my mum and gift all of my family members, I decided just to make some noodles and I cook mine with sweet corn and eggs sometimes. Sometimes I just have noodles like that, but I don't eat noodles too much. I don't know. It feels really good eating it, but then once I'm done eating it, I feel really sick. Once I finished at my mum's, I went over to Lidl to get a few things and I saw this beautiful rainbow when I came out. Of course, I had to get my camera out to show you all.
And the squirrel isn't fed on time. <laughs> Hello. It was Kitty's birthday. Yay, they turned six, so I gave them a special breakfast. This was like some pure salmon in a can for cats. Went into M&S to get a few things because I really love M&S fruit and they also do some really good sushi and some iced fingers or iced buns. And the other thing that I like to get is the salad and some herbal tea. Yeah, oh my gosh, it smells amazing here. I'm actually looking for a big artificial tree. But I just always love having a look. All of their stuff is just so nice. So I've got this one here, is this just decoration? The real plants are really nice. How cute are these? Five pounds. Anyways, we don't have what we are looking for. Look at how cute that is. Anyways, I'm gonna head out now and have a look at Sainsbury's. It's a huge branch. So I'm quite excited to go in. I think they've got a home section in there as well. And I'm hungry, so probably going to get some food. <laughs> really, really huge branch. So I'm trying to get my bearings. So here you can make your own snacks, pizza and coffee. Here are some sandwiches, cold drinks, salad, fish and meat. Cheese deli, meals for later, hot chicken. This is amazing. All oh, this is under Sainsbury's. We've got a sushi area here. But look at the prices, almost a tenner for that. That's crazy. I still think it's expensive. That's five pounds. Stay away from the section. <laughs> Look what I just found. Pick and mix for chocolate. <laughs> That's crazy. And I've just seen my like, clothes of Cadbury's. Do not come here if you're hungry. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the airport. Seriously, this is so huge. They've even got like loads of makeup, skincare, natural beauty. And it says that they do like price match with Aldi, which I thought was really good because I always thought Sainsbury's is quite expensive. And then they've got this huge section where it's all like Sainsbury's home. They've even got clothing as well. So this is what I'm doing for dinner today. I've got some mashed potato that's ready to get defrosted in the microwave. I always add milk. You can see the milk at the bottom probably and salt to mine. I don't really add butter because I feel like it's creamy enough. And then this is frozen salmon that I have placed inside this bag. And then I sealed it using this machine that I've got. It's like a kitchen gadget. I made a video about it before, like, you know, a few gadgets that I use around the home. And this has some sauce, so it's like a marinade. And I'm just going to place this inside the steamer for an hour because it's frozen. Otherwise, it'll just usually be 20 minutes. This is a steamer. You can see there's a fish option there. And then that's the steam button. And then I'm also boiling some vegetables. Yay! <laughs> so this is it. You've got some salmon, veg, and mash with curry on top. Day two, this is dinner cooking. I'm just currying some into me at the moment and then I'm going to add in some stir fry veg and egg noodles. These are the noodles I get. I get them from Asda, I think Aldi do it as well, and Lidl. And they also have, usually have like a offer on where they have stir fry and then some sauce with it. So I've got my stir fry there. I've actually put the sauce in already, so I'm just going to plop these in now. Veg is added, now I've just got to mix it all in and let that cook a little bit. The broccoli is obviously going to take the longest. And then add the noodles in. They do other noodles as well, which I actually prefer. I don't know why Hubby always buys the egg noodles, but they have Singapore noodles. And I think that might be my favourite. The egg noodles are okay, but sometimes they feel a little bit too heavy, like a bit wheaty. 
don't know how to explain that. So here's the noodles done. You can see I quite like vegetables and just eating healthy in general. Look at how pretty that is. I just finished filming and came out to this. Beautiful, beautiful sunset. So we've just arrived to this place where it's kind of difficult to find. I don't even know how I found this to be honest. And look at how beautiful the trees are. Look at how long they are, how tall they are. So, so beautiful. Yeah, there's like a motorway. Not a motorway, but it's a really, really busy road as you can see. So that's also the bad thing about it. It's kind of hard to cross and to even come here because it's such a busy road and the road, the cars just go super, super fast. But I love coming to places like this. It's just so, so beautiful. You know, you could just kind of get away a little bit, you know? And when you go deeper in, you start like hearing the cars less as well so this is how it is and then when you go into there it's just so beautiful and magical I'll show you and then when you come out you've got a beautiful view look at that isn't that so nice the sky is blue and then the lush green grass there's a few paths that you can take as well. There's another view. So, so pretty. Skies. I just love the contrast between like the green and the blue. This is another area. Got some water there. It's a bit tricky to get to these areas so I love the flowers. So we're just hopping now between a few parks. This one is a country park as you can see. It's really big and this is, this is just the beginning. So lovely, but we have to be wary of the time because they close the gates at eight and they lock all the cars in and we obviously need to get home. So there's a lot to explore here, but we're just not going to have the time. It's still really nice. And it's nice that it's not too hot either. So we've come to another bit now. And this just dips down. There's some like water down there. So I'm trying to get to there. It's a bit of a hike. And this is how it looks all around. So peaceful. So pretty. It's usually covered with bluebells. That's all covered with, is it Al algae? Look at how peaceful and serene it is. And we just spotted a little deer and some rabbits earlier. How tired are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Oh, 7. 7? Yeah. That's alright. Yeah, I mean, I'm tired but I'm not sleepy. <laughs> we just did quite a lot of hiking. This is the view that we're enjoying before we've got to go all the way there and then walk loads more to go back down to the car park. And how long do we have? Half an hour? Uh, 20 minutes? Uh, 20 minutes. Yeah, we should get moving we soon. We should probably get there before the dock. Yeah. We'll let you we're at our third place for today which has like a castle is it a ruin ruins i don't know i so, actually don't know what it's what it is or what it was for yeah i think they've got a little bit where you can read we'll flip it over so you guys can see i think a lot of people come here actually to see the sunset yeah. no, it, it would look so beautiful nice. here though maybe we should hang around see the sunset 
So this is like the castle and then you've got this beautiful view down here. I've got some rabbits as well. So it says Edward George Cadbury. 1907? That's not that long ago. Oh wait, no, this is something else. Okay, Beacon Hill to the city of Birmingham to protect the countryside. And There's not much more information. I don't know if there is on the side. Let's check that. Is there anything on here? No. Maybe on the top. <laughs> to commemorate the gift of the hill to the city of Birmingham in 1907. Edward George really read that. Junior and Henry Cadbury for use by the people of the city for leisure so and pretty though. recreation. There's a lot of dogs here, but I don't mind dogs. Should we go up? Let's have a look at the view from here. Oh, it is, it is pretty, pretty. Yeah. The top, let's try the top oh. as well. And then this is the view from here. It's crazy how tiny everything looks, <laughs> all the houses. I think we're gonna head home now. I'm starting to get quite hungry. So I've been thinking lately and I feel like I need to do something alongside YouTube because YouTube just isn't providing enough, especially with revenue and it dips a lot, like so many changes happen and it just fluctuates a lot. So I am thinking, you know, between starting like a business, I was also thinking maybe to sell like my whimsical kind of creations on Etsy but yeah I am debating between a few things whatever I do decide I'll definitely let you know on this channel and I will let you know if I do do a if I do start like a company or a business I'll let you know so you can be the first really to see all of that and what's going on I'm actually thinking about a handbag business so yeah, we'll see how it all goes. There's a lot of work to do, but I am excited because I just I just love new beginnings, you know, and seeing where it takes me. Anyways, I think I will leave off here for now. I really hope that you have enjoyed today's vlog. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.